Uh, Sam, I, I I love talking about you. Have strong thoughts on yes. Jim, Jim James Jameson Jim Jimothy Harbaugh. Uh, Jimothy Harbaugh. Jimothy Harbaugh. <laughs> I Jimothy love the third, I think. One of J- Jimothy the third Harbaugh, and <laughs> one of my favorite Harbaugh moments among many uh, is the Colin Coward interview. And I wish I knew what year it was. I'll try to find it and we'll share it out on our social pages for people to have a fun reminder and a laugh. Colin Coward is throwing him these really lighthearted sort of, you know, a, an opportunity to talk about Michigan and his time at Michigan and basically pitch for recruits on national television, setting it on a tee for him. And and Harbaugh yeah. just can't answer a darn question. <laughs> the guy is so weird. I it just blows has, my mind. <laughs> he has never handled media well. Ask any Michigan fan, like, oh, and they'll man. tell you that's Harbaugh every single post game conference. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He's, yeah. he's the guy that knows that you shouldn't drink milk in hot weather, and he does it anyways, and you just can't explain it. Uh, but you have strong feelings on I Jim did. Harbaugh. I, I, I think he wants that. to. He wants to be the pretty girl. He wants to be wine dined. He wants to be, you know, said he's the prettiest one in the room, and 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 he totally was intending to go to Minnesota, mm-hmm. which tells me he doesn't have just like that that dream job that he wants to go to. He flirted with Atlanta a couple of years back, you know, and and uh, so I mean maybe not as heavily as he did with Minnesota, but I think that. It, it, he might be there another year simply because he's so in love with himself. And don't get me wrong. I love Jim Harbaugh when he played for the bears back in, back in the nineties, I loved him. Mm-hmm. And, but he, he is so in love with him. That, like he was leaving to go to Minnesota. He was just expecting to go. And did you know that I'm a Vikings fan? I did not. I think we talked about it on the podcast. I, yeah. or maybe on social, I was devastated. That I thought he because was because Harbaugh was. Pro- I was <laughs> thought for sure. Yeah, but I was like, I might have to change favorite teams. I, don't- <laughs> I was devastated at the news that it was like all but confirmed he was going to the Vikings. Well, yeah, I think so, I think Ohio he- Stateism isn't that rampant around here. It's I don't crazy. think he thought it was an actual interview. <clears throat> I think he thought he was going to to just say this is what we're going to do this is what we're going to do mm-hmm. where when do i start and they're like oh no 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 we're just talking to you you know the we, you're a candidate you he do you think he, he was sitting in the room going sure you're just right talking to me about this job <laughs> yeah. big wink big okay. wink yeah do we have but any they, reason to believe that that's true that <laughs> that jim harbaugh thought the job was his and then it turned out he that- he he talked to some people and the way he talked to him was kind of well it's been great and just kind mm-hmm. of left it at that and and the I fact could be that very Minnesota- wrong but my my recollection of it was was he finally came out and and said that he is looking he is pursuing the NFL which is which is not something that a head coach in college typically would tell you that they're doing. Normally, they do it as secretly as they possibly could yeah. can, and, th- and that's why he I think came he, out he, and said that he yeah. was doing it. Mm-hmm. And I think to a lot of people, that means he's gone. Mm-hmm. Well, and I think I think that was basically I I took that I take that as he thought I'm pursuing the NFL. I'm going to Minnesota, and like there were rumors he was he was getting hired. Like yes. and and where do those rumors yeah. come from? If it wasn't the Vikings, who's it coming from? You know, I mean, I mean like, it could have come from me. It could have come no, from anybody. I, I'd what, like to think it? that I'd like did to it? think that Jimothy has his own uh, PR person on Twitter. That's just him tweeting from an alt account. <laughs> sources, right. sources if, say, you tell, if you tell the world that the job's mine, that they have to give it to me. <laughs> yeah, sources say Harbaugh has the job for ten million a year and a warm glass of milk. Like, yeah. Well, I, I, and say, I, yeah. I just think that maybe maybe Minnesota was all hyped to bring him in to kind of be able to bend his ear and 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 give him a legitimate interview. Yeah, yeah. And they were something had to have turned them off to him because they seemed pretty warm on him too. And it just it, it, what was it? But That's I a good think question. I also think though. The next opportunity that comes, he's jumping ship as quickly as he can. Oh yeah, I, I maybe. I mean, there's there's a part of me because because I like the guy. 
Yeah. Um, and I, I love him as, as Michigan's coach. I was not calling for his head. I mean, he's been sort of, I feel like the one guy for Michigan so far whose head wasn't called for as early as it maybe probably should have been. Um, but now it's like things are, we've weathered the storm perhaps. Yeah. He's but, the best uh, coach that's come in Diane Arbor since Lloyd Carr. Since Lloyd Carr. Yeah, exactly. and, and to be fair, even as an Ohio State fan, because you've got Michigan, Purdue, and Ohio State on the line, he's mm-hmm. so easy to laugh at. But he he obviously has elements that make him a good coach. You don't oh, get for it, sure. You don't get yeah. to be in the roles that you are without being very seriously considered. I could care as, less how he sounds a at a coach. press conference. Yeah, uh, it is just very fun mm-hmm. to laugh at from the other side of the rivalry. He, oh, he, sure. he lost the Super Bowl by three points. I mean, like he he was the coach of the team that lost by three points in the Super Bowl. I mean, that that's that's a, a really good coach. Yeah. But it just I, I I don't think I think I don't know what it was. Like he, maybe he thought it was gonna be I the yeah. dream job going to Ann Arbor, but once he got there, he struggled enough that that it's to the point where I think if any higher profile because you know there's always a one or two jobs every year that pop up Mm -hmm. that are high profile and and or at least have a a good potential i think if his name comes up he'll honestly i don't know that he would i think he would do something like brian kelly did he'd leave before playoff potentially a playoff game maybe if it meant they were hiring him I, I maybe I, I don't think a lot of coaches these days would sure and, and that's the thing <clears throat> like basically what you're telling me is that like you think that Michigan has a narcissistic leader at the very top making a lot of money and I'm going to tell you to like okay look around at not only the whole league but all very powerful leaders oh they're for, all narcissists for sure and I, I don't <laughs> care how I don't care how charitable you think they look I don't <laughs> I don't care right what it is they're 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 all they're all kind of full of themselves because in part that's how they got there mm-hmm. yeah and 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 here's the thing i i've liked i just did it's something that rubbed me the wrong way with how it worked with minnesota nah. because like it seemed that both sides were very interested in one another until they met what was it during that meeting that did it and the only thing that came to my mind was did he expect the is he expected this to be his job is, like he he was deciding whether to take it not them hiring him is he yeah. is he the actor that thinks he doesn't have to audition anymore you know yeah and and i think and and i think i think that's my thought process on that one is is he he doesn't need to interview he's jim harbaugh you know i've mm-hmm. been to the super bowl damn it you know i mean it just you know it's it's it, but it's i don't yeah yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's as likely just a somebody got a story wrong, and then it got you know. Think so, and then and then got retweeted a gajillion times and rewritten <laughs> in a billion different ways, and then and then they actually meet and it doesn't pan out, and it's like, well, that was never the story. <laughs> yeah. Well, if nothing else, it's fun to take a tangent. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what? I don't, still don't like Jim Harbaugh. Uh, I, look, I, no. still <laughs> like, I still think that Ryan Day is standing on third, thinking he hit a triple. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I walked into one heck of, of of an area of the the state because I'm not too far from Michigan. I'm not too far from from Columbus, okay. and I am a Purdue fan. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's awesome. My well, wife's family, they're they're Purdue fans. Well, they're good people. They're good people. That's right. Well, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts on Jim. Yeah, yeah I'm not a big fan. 